the public is advised to be a light. Venerable community along the coast of Liberia are advised to also be a light for coastal erosion as a result of rising sea level. Based on these scientific information, it is predicted that over 100,000 persons are expected to fall prey to flood, windstorm, and coastal erosion this year, with over 60% getting affected in coastal counties from the eastern and northern region, especially in the interior. Note that the rainy season has not started, and we already have 1,863 persons affected by windstorm. If it begins and goes to epic, the worst may happen. Considering the impact caused by windstorm in Nimba, Gong, and Bakro County, it is clear that the public must get prepared for the rains, floods, windstorm, and rising sea level. The National Disaster Management Agency will dispatch across the country a awareness team in the coming days to provide education to the public on preparedness against these hazards. The agency wants to also assure the public that if any of these hazard services and subsequently leads to disaster, the government will take will make efforts to reduce the impact on the life of the affected persons. Finally, the National Disaster Management Agency calls on all aid partners, both local and international, to support these efforts in cash and kind, so as to address the pressing humanitarian needs. We have at hand, and the challenges we, we have ahead of us. We also call on a national legislature, before whom the 2024 proposed budget is under debate, to do the needful that is, that is giving the national disaster management a befitting financial support as they relate to our preparedness to mitigate, respond in our recovery process. Thank you. So I came along with my deputy director for operation, Ms. Uh, Morris. Also the deputy director for administration, Koto Sega. Thank you, Honorable Dolan. With the opportunity provided me by my boss, and I will be counted in history to introduce uh, somebody who was living before I was born, somebody who desired to change the cultural heritage of this country, grew up on the Ministry of Information because of the peace, stability, and the atmospheric condition of this country. She has come back after 25 years to speak to the Liberian people. And if I do the law, we applaud you.
government to do its part. Because we as Liberian, we take one line and make hundred lines out of that line. And the first line that we took to make our 99 lines out of, it was the pure one. But the rest of the 99 lines are things that we believe, we trust, and we want to hope on somebody. I'm standing here, I'm a singer, I'm a mother, I'm a wife, I'm a family of people. Well, I've been here for a couple of weeks. I came to visit my family. I have been to the old Kenija. I saw what they built there. Because the story before the old Kenija was the erosion were taking our place. I was at the age of 13 when they brought me to Kenija. I lived all my life in Kenija. And when I heard Kenija was sold, we all were crazy, mad. But one thing stood out to me was, I heard they want to build a new Kenija. That took some of my armor down, and I went to hear while the new Kenija was over, it was built. And I called here, and they said it did something. But it's something they did, it was in the kingdom that we had. The kingdom that we have, all of you guys are sitting here. You guys were not born. You don't know what kingdom that we're looking at. So I will say again to even people that are here, because even some of our big people behind me here, some of them are younger than me. I'm older than them. Kingdom that was a village or a town built by Turkmen in the 1960s. It was built to bring people to bring children of talents to keep them there. And those people, those, those children that were there, once they were learned, after they have learned, they will be taking them on every visit. Now any president from any country will come, will go there to make Liberia proud. I can tell you now where I stand. I'm in the United States. I live there with my children. I live there with my husband. This country that we call our country, the name of God out there in the world that the minister said, that name need to change. The people know us only on bad stuff. Nothing good. And some of us have rolled all on our bad umbrella, gone to universities, teach the culture, talk to people. When I got there, knew that nobody wanted to smell cassava, nobody wanted to eat fufu. Now, the black Americans are calling up for fufu, for cassava leaf, for potato green. You did not sing it, did not know. So the culture is not just singing and dancing. It's our way of thinking. So when you're talking about culture, people, don't just think we are here to sing. We're doing a lot beyond the scene that you don't know. We don't have to come to the media to talk like for you to know. And we don't have to be in a position that I always see us. So I just want to let you know that we are an ambassadors for Liberia out there and making our way through all the storms to tell the people Liberia has something good in it. You can go there and see for yourself. So ladies and gentlemen, my last word is to say again to our minister, because we grew up on the uh, umbrella of Minister of Information. If you don't know, Minister of Information, then we can to get a everything. We are in one in this place. I will say again to the minister, like I say in the office, we are appealing to this government. Whatever money was raised or whatever money was taken from Johnson, to so please rebuild Canada and put more in Canada than what we had before. Because Canada was on like a training ground. It was not just anything. We had a school, but the building was built in a T form, President Trumpman. The T, the one side of the T was the girls' dormitory. The left side of the T was the boys' dormitory. The belly of the T was the school, 
and the auditorium and our kitchen. Then outside of Kenija, we have houses built for parents to stay and take care of us. Each of our parents, their responsibility was to train up for better people for tomorrow. So Kenija was not just a dancing ground, there was not just a singing ground. There was a place to put the future leaders out. So we would be happy if they can build another Kenija with a school, training ground, vocational schools that we had it, we would be very happy. And our children are in the street today. You guys call Zoko. I don't know what it means. And I hate to call them that because I don't know the name. So those children can be helped through our culture, our way of people. Thank you so much for having me. And Mr. Minister, I will step down by just saying thank you so much for having me in front of these people. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Jason Gaspoli, we'd like to encourage you if you have questions. We will start with the ASEAN Discovery Team, uh, Task Force, headed by Councillor Clark Martin. Please come in the queue. You read the question to Councillor Martin. When Honorable Dollar comes on the podium, you can then give your question. Please come forward. Is it Papa Kamo Soku or the son Balawala? Is the body saying, Oh, oh, Lala? You see, my friend, I'm touching all my condom. They brought their Balawala, so I can fix it for them. But what I don't understand, why should they take Balawala? For the rascal woman. We score Amen. Listen to this. These are whisper and tell me say it's God that will feed the first to soon. So I hope it will. Who will suffer each and every one person and tell everyone to be there? Who will see the teacher will stay away? It's too much more than a chair. Who will see where you will be? That's what I we will find out the truth. We will send for Gamma, send for Gonda, send for Balawala, and send for Gamma Soko. We will all move you. Thank you, thank you, Mr. We would like to leave. We would like to leave something small, but we will tell you it has too to contribute to the 100 days of the Legacy Project. Thank you, 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 your year A through the Ministry of Information will be here. Thank you so much. God bless. Thank you, Madam. That's the top part you will see. Thank you, Madam. Sorry. Sorry. Thank you so much, uh, Director Family. My name is Trogon Flama, and I report for Spoon FM and TV. Uh, Councilor Martin, thank you for coming. But uh, this is a huge task that you've been given to do, and I know that you will need money. So can you tell us how much you think that you will need to execute this peculiar tax for the country? Can you take your three questions? Do you want to risk it? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Council. My name is Morris Olati and I report for OKFM. Thank you so much. Um, I got two concerns, and uh, one of them is uh, the issue of asset recovery and all of stuff. I want to know how independent will the body be this because uh, in the past you were then referred to as uh, one of the present quote unquote beta you know, in the past. And the second one is uh, we got issue here at the Ministry of Information uh, with respect to the issue of the Labyrinth News Agency. Uh, the page belonging to uh, the, the 
entity, uh, the person who was in charge, uh, is currently and uh, using that that particular page to do other and uh, the lives around here. So I want to know whether your recovery team is going to look in that direction. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to go that I will put for the people's news online. Councillor Martin, there are some government officials, especially the CDC Secretary General, Honorable Jefferson Tamakoji, who said officials of the CDC will not abide by the access recovery team. So what would be the penalty of any past government officials who will refuse to abide by the access recovery team? Councillor, you can respond to you. Okay, thank you. For the first, we talk about budgetary allotment. And I, in this public manner, I want to inform the Latvian people in the world that uh, this administration headed by His Excellency President Jose Lima Buaka is prepared to give us all the necessary support that uh, the financial aid we can do our work. So we are working uh, squarely on the, the appropriate budget that will enhance our work. Thank you very much. Okay. As a recovery and then the, on the uh, issue of independence, thank you. I worked at the one hour at the LACC. Uh, I'm one question that the PLS, I go for the crime, I go for the actors. Go for those who violate the crime, despite your position, despite your portfolio. But the best thing for our country is to set, to set the agenda and to set the stage. Uh, it is our responsibility when we are, when we are placed in this position to ensure that the objectives and the functions are performed the incident. You can rest assured that uh, I have not changed my conduct towards prosecution and investigation or those caught within the action of theft and corruption have not changed. Uh, our dragnet is open and uh, we perform this act to the best of our ability. And mind you, this time around, we are to act in the spoiling with the law. There will be no arms twisting, there will be no nighttime calls. We are going to do the, this job to the best of our ability with the support of this government. That is prepared to fight corruption. On the issue of your the recovery of uh, the Ministry of Information, uh, so web page, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. page. Um, that is part of the asset. We we will go after it, and we, we want to let you know that the the guy will be. I don't know who's involved, but uh, like we said, uh, no one is above the law. That's by the former before you. We will apply the law and make sure that we bring it under jurisdiction of the court. We will be constrained to police that. Thank you. Yeah. On the issue of, uh, uh, you see, someone said that some officials will not submit to this process. There are laws that govern the punishment of criminal action. And we are acting through the conduit of the court. And the court is always assisted by the executive through the library national police. You will not see every martyr in the street to go to you to ask you to bring back up. But our appropriate action will be through the courts, and the execution of our action will be through the national, the library national police. So we, we, we are fearless. We, we have no issue about that. We are strong, and we are robust. No one will think that they can circumvent this, this, this issue by issuing threats. Threats cannot move us. We worked in the system before, we issued threat and we survived. Now we are out of the system, working on a transparent system, no threat can move us. Thank you for that. Should I follow up on the amount you need to do the work? Right? Yes, uh, there are reports out there that the team is proposing about six million to do this job. And you said uh, you will need budgetary allotment. People are concerned. Why can you be specific to state the amount needed to do this job? Thank you. We 
have to be very careful how to answer questions when it comes to the expenditure of funding for this operation. Uh, this is an executive order, and uh, it takes time to put our, our, our pen on the paper to ensure that we meet the appropriate benchmark in terms of cash allotment that will go into this project. But to be precise, we are working around a budget that will not exceed $1.9 million for a start. Thank you, Council. My name is Anthony Gray, and I report for the Regional Broadcast of ECOWAS Radio. Uh, Council, I'm aware that you're doing a beautiful job, and I wish I must commend you. Uh, but some civil society organizations, to be specific, uh, the Center for Transparency and Accountability in Liberia in town. I mean, they call on President Boaca to dismiss this tax force on grounds that you fell apart with the former uh, government, that is the CDC, and secondly, you were seen campaigning for the United Party that which they said is against anti graft uh, laws. How do you respond to these claims? So, I'm um, Princess Peggy Cooper, I report for the Lagos TV Network. Uh, my question is this. Uh, for over the past years, uh, we observed that an information that came from other newspapers and other news agencies. People were killed. There was some mysterious killing that went on with auditors and other government officials, speakers. They were actually trying to see how best they can do the proper work for the government. How secure uh, is a team with regards to security? Because uh, many are saying there's a wish hunt, and people who say, oh, yes, no, we might go after them or their family. How secure is your institution? My name is Anthony for ABC Radio and the Honorable Newspaper. My question is in following to Anthony Williams' question. Um, Anthony Gray, sorry. The question is, you are our LACC Council and you understand the functions of LACC. Many persons have criticized the president for instituting uh, this task force, saying that the task force and the LACC will function similarly. You were there. Can you tell us the difference between the task force and the LACC? Thank you. Council, you can address those three questions. Thank you. On the issue of uh, campaigning for the unity party, that is absolutely wrong. There's no evidence to show that uh, you see me holding black hair wearing t shirt for the unity party. My selection was on the basis of the fact that uh, we withstood the tension that we encountered at the LACC that we are able to protect the integrity of ourselves, protect the integrity of the institution, and the independence of with respect to investigations that we conducted, and the cases that we reported to court, and our action to inform the authorities then that uh, we were acting in the confines of the law. That is the basis for my selection. I was not selected on the basis of the you ask how secure I am, or how secure we are, uh, we are working in line with the Liberian National Police. We have maximum protection with the Liberian National Police. And the Liberian people are also prepared to protect us to make sure that this is achieved with his name. This is the first of its kind in our country where the president and all officials of government are prepared to put hands on deck. This tax force is not like other forces that have been working at the will and pleasure of the authorities. The tax force has the independence to work, but it should work in the confines of the law. That what this government is better for us to do. So on the issue of our security, we are secure. We want to extend gratitude to the Liberian National Police for providing us that security. On the issue of uh, What's the difference between the tax force and the, the LACC? The tax force under Article 50 of the 1986 Constitution, that is the prerogative of the president. The president has the right under Article 50 
to use his administrative power as commander in chief of the armed forces of Liberia. That is his executive power which he has used. So he has the right to create a tax rule. This tax rule is responsible for the retrieval of properties that belong to government that are in the hands of those that are not required by law to hold them. This tax rule also conduct financial investigation of reports on the corruption improprieties. And thereafter, the proceeds of the crime that were converted either into cash and placed into bank account, cash and placed into bank account, and those that were that tend to face accident by building huge properties, those will be recovered for the people of Liberia. The LACC, by its own nomenclature, its, its own act, is an anti-corruption body that has so many uh, institutions that form its inter internal organ. The LACC has the right where you go to declare your asset, where you go to declare your asset, and you form the Labyrinth people in the government, or what you earn, what you earn before your appointment. After your appointment, in, in, in two years, you have to go back and, uh, and re declare, and when you shall leave that office, you have to give your asset declaration. But if you fail to give the appropriate declaration to LACC, the law says that you will be sanctioned. That law is not very strong and effective. You will be sanctioned. Sanction on what? What sanction does it does that mean? But I want on Article 50 of the 1986 Constitution, the executive power of the president that you have here, it gave us specific responsibilities to perform. That is, we are going after properties that belong to government, and we will also conduct investigations on financial matters that people use to convert public money into private accounts and to big, big build private homes for themselves. This is our responsibility. We are more robust, forceful, and uncompromising under the other institutions. Thank you so, so much. So, that should be the last set of questions that you Okay. Okay, so my name is George Momo and I report for KSTV Liberia. Um, in 2018, I, I remember I was involved on the local level in terms of creating awareness, helping the, the team. So it saw the huge involvement of community radio. So I want to know what's the plan on decks with the community radio because the assets recovery cut across line ministry and agency and maneuver is not like you. Thank you. Good afternoon, Chief. I'm Jabez Tilly. I work for Lina, like you and Mr. My question goes to the Minister. Minister, thank you for applauding all the professional measures as it relates to our, our boss man. Our boss man. Yeah. Our boss man only overwatch. So basically, uh, just last night, Kwame Popawit changed the name of the institution, I think, to Miapo Media Consultancy. And you're talking about, and they were given an automated 60 days before it changed. Now, where are we if you say you go for him and it will change? And my last question, do we have a duration for the operation? When do we expect you to start? And when do we expect you to end? Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Councilman. My name is Jared Morris. I will put for Freedom FM TV. Uh, I want to know if the tax giving the assets in COVID team to retrieve government assets is only going to catch up the past six years. And what about the other governments? Uh, that assets were now recovered. And um, lastly, follow up to that campaigning issue. You were not campaigning during the election, but uh, some member of the team, uh, I stand to be corrected, the left of having government on the EFL, 
uh, Imana Congo I mean, was caught campaigning. What does he say on that? Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, on the issue of uh, uh, awareness and sensitization, we have planned to use all the community radios that are situated in all the counties, and we even use our vernacular, and we use everyone with uh, advertising expertise to help this tax show. This is not a tax show has the responsibility of 15 persons, but we intend to pass that responsibility to all Liberians because what the tax show is involved into is not for the personal benefit of the membership of the tax show. This is a national cause and national responsibility that involves every Liberian. We count on the press to give our information and we count on the public to also assist us. In terms of duration by law, executive order lasts for one year. So we have the day the executive order was announced and we were commissioned and charged by the president our work start. And uh, after the 12 months of existence, the work ends. And in any capacity where the president sees it fit, but because of challenges, we could not reach to our goal that executive order could be reinstituted. On the, the ask a question whether the tax rules wouldn't look at those that for the past six years, what happened to other previous government? Mind you, there's a provision on our law. There's a provision on our law. Uh, chapter chapter 4, section 4.2 of the criminal procedure law. That law respect, uh, uh, respectfully referred to non-capital offenses that have been committed in terms of felony and misdemeanor on our law, on our criminal procedure statute. The law says that when an act is committed within the period of five years, Within the period of five years, and the period that period runs, that crime cannot be prosecuted. Because it happened in five years, and the government or the prosecution did not do anything to bring that to light and to bring down the jurisdiction of our courts. But mind you, there's an exception to that law one of which the Supreme will have an, an opinion. It says that at the time you have taken certain knowledge of that crime, the commission of that crime. So we there are other crimes that were committed, financial crimes that were committed, act of corruption that were committed. Once they had those things can be brought to our certain knowledge now, we will act. Mind you, there are other investigations, there are other reports. There are other investigations, there are other reports from uh, the General Auditing Commission, the GAC. Those reports were signed and brought to the attention of the government. After five years, you cannot go back on those reports to conduct investigation because you are barred by the statute. You are barred by the statute. But those that were not brought to the certain knowledge of the government, and the government take possession, take seizure of that matter, even after 10 years, if that matter comes to the government now, you can go for prosecution. So to just let you know that the tax rules is not limited to six years, as people are going around with this belief that this tax rules is only going after people after six years. No, we are using our very expertise in criminal investigation, and we are also trying to maximize the uses of the law. And uh, based upon that, when matters of criminal violation are brought to our attention, we will revisit the law to see how best we can apply the appropriate remedy in some of that, 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 that problem. Thank you very much.
Thank you, Councilor Gilkian. If I leave this stage, let me introduce uh, Mr. Harry Jones, the representative from the Dakota National Commission. Thank you, Mr. Jones. You're welcome. Councilor Martin, you can have a seat. And I, I hope you will have uh, questions for the Honorable Dolly. But before then, I just wanted to address the brother from Lena who spoke. From the beginning, I said we formally wrote the Minister of Justice. And during this press conference, it is established that the page in question as such, belonging to the Ministry of Information. The chair of the task force did say that they would take seize of the matter as well. So I want to leave the rest of the issue with the, the investigator. But what I will leave you with is this. ELBC runs an online store called Ellen TV Live. Before the We Are Government came to power, LMTV Live existed. But there was a change in management, LMTV Live remained. Lena has a Facebook page. Well, that Facebook page was established by weeks, was established in its capacity as the Director General of Lena. And the page carried the name Lena. While we are in discussion about the page to even change the name, I'm not a lawyer, but I believe that it's even more criminal. But I'll leave you with that. The law will settle that issue. People are so used to being disrespectful to the law. They were here. The rent government, people respected them. I give you an example. Mayor Brawl, as head of GSA, spearheaded the, the government fleet management program. On that program, I purchased one of, one of their old cars, 3,500 euro dollars. I had all the receipts, but I still got them. When the government came to power, they said they wanted to verify, and therefore everybody who bought a car on that area should bring the car. I was subject to the authority. I brought the car. They did not return the car to me. They did not give my money back. They used raw and naked power. Today, they are out of power and they want to be lawless. When they were there, people had to respect them. And I believe that lawlessness will end. I trust our legal people. We are not going to do it again. We're not going to go after anybody physically. We're not going to go into world of war, world of war. You didn't hear us say anything about any case until today because we have presented it to the law. So we address these issues consistent with the law. Law and order will be here again. I assure you. Thank you. Thank you, Minister. We will take questions for the Disaster Management Agency. Please come in the queues. Come forward to the camera. It's yourself. Okay, my name is Afonso Kalama, and I write for the People News paper. Um, Mr. Dolly, I heard you um, giving a light to people, especially in the coastal area, the last time the week of writing. But then um, there's this thing that in terms of peace, prepare for war and vice versa. What is the Liberian government doing when it comes to you know when these disasters you know um, take place in time to come to make sure that these 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 uh, victims are safe? I take three questions or Take another you know, three questions, please. So, um, Princess Kedi Koko, I report for the Liberian Network. With regards to your workings, uh, you directly, you and EPA definitely works in line. And having listened to you carefully, I listened that over a few days from now away, we'll be doing some awareness. And I think like we'll have this national determinant contribution, which is the NDC, that also directs some environmental issues. Uh, my question is this, what kind of practical uh, strategy or methodology are you putting in and suggesting instead of mere awareness that yes indeed, 
after some couple of years of days or weeks from now, our citizens can actually, you know, say yes, we have a good system in place. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Domingo Tawel, once more. On the toilet, uh, sadly, I've never heard you talking about the fire outbreak across the country. But for the past two months, there have been a fire outbreak around Montserrat and the environs. What have been the intervention from your institution has related to the fire outbreak that taking away the lives of people and damaging properties? Okay, thank you so much. Um, the issue of disaster is actually of concern. Like today we have in Kenya the issue of that coastal wall that was built. I remember years ago there were people from various counties recruited at disaster to tackle train in Bukiana by the West Africa Disaster Management Team, of which I represented Mirele as a disaster data clerk, and team of disaster data clerk by them, team of disaster data clerk by them, advised the local authority headed by Madam Bessie Kuwato as superintendent by them, and to do similar thing at the Harper General Market, because whenever the Hoffman Station, the Hoffman River that uh, meets with the Atlantic Ocean gets filled, there's actually a problem. Since then, there have been nothing done. So I, I know you are aware of that situation. So what are you thinking on in terms of mitigating that? Okay, sir, sir my name is David Tyler. I work for the Liberia Radio and Television Network. Uh, quite recently, somebody had a concern with the issue of disasters. Whenever a disaster occurs, you notice that individual officials of government go to these areas and spend their own resources in terms of uh, helping those who fall victims to the disasters and not channeling, not channeling those resources through the National Disaster Commission. It's also a concern to you that officials of government or individuals are not channeling financial resources or material resources through the Disaster Management Committee or Commission and through and doing it themselves. It's also a concern to you, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I think that last time. Thank you, sir, Colin. My name is Desmond Moyon, and I report for Labrador News Network and Indo TV. Uh, my concern to you, Honorable Dolly, is specifically on the issue of budget. I recall when you visited the 55th legislature, you presented approximately over a budget of uh, two, but I think 2.2 million, something like that. Five. 2.5 million. Five million. Oh, five million. All right, sorry, five million. So I'm so concerned as to with the importance of disaster management control. You talk about the agencies being on budget supported during the past year, and you may inherit a budget that agency where the budget is being very not even moved, and therefore you are calling for increment. So my concern to you now: what is that reasonable budget from what you have observed and intend to do that you can put forth to the legislature if that should be passed? I want to thank you very much. Well, as it relates to the first question, Disaster Management Agency is an agency that is responsible statutorily for the prevention of disaster, the mitigation, and the recovery process. And so, for now, what we are doing, the government of Liberia through the National Disaster Management Agency is evolved to activate the platform. According to the I, 
There is a national disaster management force, type force, that should be activated, that has never been activated since the creation of the agency. That, is, that platform, that force, includes the, the, the AFL, the police, the immigration, Minister of Health, and command the executive director of the National Disaster Management Agency. That's an happening goal, and we are on our way to make that happen. So, somebody has a question about a strategy in putting place to mitigate threats. Well, you can have all the strategies on right. But if you do not have the budgetary allocation to carry on the strategy for which you are strategizing for, it's meaningless. The National Disaster Management Agency was created in 2016 and started in 2018. Every year, every budgetary period, the agency just sits there in need only. So, until we can get some budgetary allocation. We have professional people. We are clean to do the job. But for now, uh, as you said, the budget, we cannot re respond to threat. We can only respond uh, to the events when it's occurred by sending our uh, responders to take data and what have you. Somebody asked for the intervention. We always intervene with our bare hands. We intervene with our money. Our question is intervene when it comes to fire. We go there and see the fire burning helplessly, we do nothing. And the people see the National Disaster Management Agency sending their things that we will be there for them after the disaster or the recovery period. What do you have besides the salary? You don't expect the people at the National Disaster Management Agency to take their home. They are paycheck to go to do disaster by even though they've been doing that for some time. So there is no way we can do anything momentarily. Well, somebody talked about coming from Maryland, you know, a journalist have been working. So this is exactly what I was saying. You have free and professional people with a financial aid to them. In fact, the National Disaster Management Agency is more than out of the interior ministry. So we should have the country disaster management committee headed by the superintendent and commanded by that have not been involved. We should have the district disaster management committee headed by our coordinator. We should have the village disaster management committee that will involve our early warning system. We do not have it because it needed to be started. So we intend all of our watch to activate that. Meanwhile, the United Nations UNDP have created for other hubs. We have five regional hubs. One in Bikana and one in, uh, uh, in Banga that has been well designed. The building is there, no manpower. It's just an empty building without water into washing over it every day. Helplessly, and helplessly, and incoherently looking at the building. So what you so because of that, somebody has a question. Resources is been coming from the packets of representatives and senators, private individual. So sensing take to the self statutory authority that belongs to all and form the disaster committee in Bon County, headed by Honorable Bapla, taking our functions away. You are not cross for the statutory responsibility to undertake. Why do I want to take it? And so we have just written them a letter to report every collection that they collected and show us the utilization report on that total fire truck accident. Meanwhile, in that letter, we are also ordered for the warehouse in Toyota to temporarily remain closed until we can send our team to do practical and physical verifications of items that are in the warehouse. Up to now, Honorable Bapta have not reported to us, they have not written us,
but it will be followed by another letter. If we fail, I think the Minister of Justice is here to also call it. <laughs> Our hubs, we free people across the country, but we do not have the money, the budgetary allocation to do anything. I hope I'm not going beyond the question. So two more so that I can address it properly. So the last question I want to answer, somebody said, what is a reasonable budget? We need 15 million to do that. <laughs> but let me tell you something, it is only in Liberia that the people tend to underestimate the National Disaster Management Agency. Only our partners know our importance. The, we are warning now by the statistics of the UNDP that in these three months from now you will see flood all across the country. You know, if you encroach on nature, nature will definitely return to you violently. People build in a macro swamp, and the macro swamp is a reservoir of water that holds water. So if you build that grass season, you'll be peaceful. But really season, nature will come back to you. So how do we prepare ourselves? We should prepare ourselves by getting our budget right allocation. Unfortunately for us, we send in to the Ministry of Finance a budget of a little over five million dollars. The Ministry of Finance returns to the legislature a little over seven hundred thousand. Only the compensation they send to us. So how do we work? Our hands are tied. We are struggling. We are crying. We are weeping. And so we fear the West. But I believe one thing, that the National Legislature and His Excellency Honorable Joseph Newman Baga, President of the Republic, will see reason to instruct the legislature and the Ministry of Finance to put in some money for us. There's now money. Look, the National Disaster Management Agency, under the eye, can go to the legislature and labor tax on hazardous product. That, that is the law. To say all of a beer, for example, once the beer will drink at one long period of time will affect you, there should be a tax for it. Chemicals that come to the country, beer magic, for example, they are pay, they need to pay some tax for those things, for disaster tax. And I think under our watch, under his excellency Joseph Newman Baga, it will be involved. I want to rise momentarily. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. On behalf of Hello, on behalf of the Ministry of Information, Cultural Affairs and Tourism, we would like to commend our media friends for always coming here on our invitation to cover up the weekly press briefing. We'd like to further emphasize that the work we do here will not be successful without your involvement. And so we'd like to extend heartfelt appreciation to all of you for coming here. So, Councillor Erin Klamati and the entire asset recovery and property retrieval team of tax force will appreciate you. I'm very much aware that this country and every one of us, as citizens of Liberia, have a fair appreciation of the devastating effect that corruption in the public sector continues to have on the progress of our country. The schools and hospitals, public facilities are dysfunctional because of public corruption. So we want to encourage the public to support the work of the Asset Recovery and Property Retrieval Tax Force. To the team from the National Disaster Management Agency, thank you for coming and sending out the early warning to the public. We now encourage those community concerned to take the necessary precautionary measures to avoid being affected by the predicted disaster. On that note, before I close, 
we will invite members of the press that are here. You know, the Minister uh, Honorable Jerry Pia has consistently echoed to the Liberian public the devastating state of this facility and uh, the need for immediate intervention. And so, therefore, we want to, at the close of this press conference, we want to invite the media to take a guided tour of this facility so that you can be able to follow a spell sheet the call that has been made by the minister on the devastating state of this building. It is as if nothing existed here for the last six years. And we are beginning to wonder. Monies that were allotted in the budget to the Ministry of Information for the last six years, and the roof, the bathrooms, the entire facility is devastating. And so accountability remains the way forward. On that note, we say thank you to all of our friends for coming here to cover this press conference. We look forward to see you on next Tuesday as we continue to do business on behalf of the government of Liberia. NICA remains the official communication platform. The agency closed with the authority to direct and supervise government communication. And that's why the minister has brought new dynamism here. This place will continue to be the official platform where agencies and ministries of government will continue to come to say what they have to say to the Liberian people. On that note, we would like to draw the curtain on the latest edition of the regular press briefing of the Ministry of Information, Cultural Affairs and Tourism. I thank you. So that Daniel said, let me add my voice. All of you from the media, I beg you, don't go and talk. Join me left toward the facilities, right? So that you can see things with your own eyes. I beg you, please join the team and I to do a tour after the press conference. Thank you. So we are very pleased to have the Minister of Information, Cultural Affairs and Tourism, Minister Jeremy Lemay, our Chief of Fear, and the Home Media Colleagues here to continue the program. So, folks, we are going to go down to the Kim Shia, watching the battle for the entire facility of the Ministry of Information, Cultural Affairs and Tourism. We can see how we can serve you by the very here. So we stay here. My name is Wai Zimbalems. Uh, here at the Ministry of Information for the Affairs of Tourism. Uh, so I'm a We're in the disaster management team. We had that also have the story. And then followed by the asset recovery and property retrieval team. And then by the Edwin Clark Mountain. So we see here, moving uh, around a bit. We see the tour, uh, the tour tour, you see the building. You see the entire building of the Ministry of Information here in Liberia. So if you're watching, keep sending your comments. Thanks so kindly for joining us. We can join you as a TV. Uh, so, it's been really simple. Stay here. Uh, Charles Bell, Conference Hall. Here at the Ministry of Information. So, in a moment from now, we will take you to the building alongside Minister Jamal Bey, Machi Kia. Shakespeare. I think I'm going to do it. I think I asked the man to meet you. I'm going to get a dress. I'm going to
so we are going at the park of the ministry of information. It is a tour here today. Uh, this is the first day. Culture Bureau. Some of these guys. Back in the midst of chain con. Show that you never buy a new So the tour continues here at the Ministry of Information, Culture and Press and Tourism. On our Ministry of Development. We have some challenges that is met uh, with the top of our minister of recent. Uh, we have visit the office. This is the office of the uh, minister. Uh, these are some things we need to see. Yeah, I can make sure of uh, Information. So this is where our culture people have come. And uh, after all of the practices, we stuff like that. You see the marks. This is a max uh, here in my area. So uh, we do a big tour. It's important. So we're taking a tour at the main office of the minister, uh, Minister Jebel Rubik, uh, Matthew Pia. This tour continue. This is 
just a duet of sculpture. Behind you is uh, some of the very portable materials, as you can see for yourself. Photos of ex presidents, but they were all lined up on the ground. So I had to tell them to pick them up and clean them so we can find means to pull them up. Once they belong here, we find place to pull them up. So if you see the place is clean like this, they mean we just did this. And that's our when you, when, uh, when you see computers and people there and look at it, they're looking at this and we just did. Let's yeah, figure out what they're working yeah. We tried it once yet, yeah, but we still got more to do here because we identified other things with the help of the minister of the law. The minister of the law. The take on your camera, guys. The take time. The take time. The take time. The take time. So, we are moving to the assessment of the from the office of the minister proper. We are moving to the minister of the assistant minister for technical services here at the ministry of information, culture, and tourism. The matter of fact, a tour. Both internal and external tour here today. So, my name is Marius and Williams. This is it. It is the office of the assistant minister of technical services. And he's here. Yes. 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 Who will go on and on, and the reflection, the explanation from one department to the other will be exactly the same. The challenges are the same. Um, there's a lot of work that needs to be done here. The the office itself, come and see, just, just come close up. Come and see. So, so these are what we have to start with, and that's one of the, the, that's the main essence of the store. So you have an idea, when we talk about declaring asset before you take off public office, this is also a part of it. So you know what we are starting with, and then after a couple of times we update, then you know, then you have, an, you, have, you, have you, you already know how we started and how we got to where we are. So that is the Assistant Minister of Technical Affairs Office, and um, we have it to just show you, you know, some of the things that uh, we have with Thank you so much. Assistant Minister of Technical Services here at the Ministry of Information for the context here. So we're still here doing the internal uh, tour of the entire building. Different media groups, different media institutions. Yeah. Here is the office of the Assistant Don't play into the office. I'm telling you. Don't go there. Don't let the catch it. Don't let the catch it. Don't let the catch it.
At the office of motion picture, right. they offer collect taxes from video club. At the director office here. Yeah, they collect taxes for the government of Labrador through the LRA. But this is the office. Mr. Tom Kamara is the director, you see so. Can we move on? So this is it. Office of um, video yeah. club picture. Oh, sir. Okay. So it's just a <laughs> so we stay here uh, doing this tour of uh, the uh, administrative information, uh, both internal and external. Uh, uh, the inside of the business building on the uh, second floor. So we're moving. This is the communication for the office here in Liberia. National communication. Please be quiet. Please be quiet and listen to the illustration. So we are opening the, the Nevada office. The essence of this is to see the condition of this place, and when it changes, then you will see the difference. So here is the office of the Director for National Communication Bureau, by law. So I'm like here now, we'll go here while I'm here with the government of Liberia. You see here, you see agriculture ministry, all that communication thing here. LACC, NHA, GSA, everything. There's a far management process here, right? If you do social media, you so pay money to the government or library, you so register through the office here. Your file should be here. Put your hand and get a file here. Oh, okay. yes. DSTB, DSTB sat on, I get a register in the office here. Please get down to the minister so you can exit. So, uh, for my is the director. Yeah. No. Okay, okay, please, 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 please. Thank you. 
So we're still in tour because it is a communication department. We are here at the office of the Deputy Manager. Very empty. There is nothing you can see here except for these two marks on the wall. You see it in the little picture. It's scheduled by the Professional Chief Association. Uh, Lika, okay, it's in Liberia Individual Chief Competition, second place winner of West Africa Food Festival. Okay, it was of recent, I, I think you should hear about this. Uh, this is the start to place in, in Nigeria, where Liberia came second place as a uh, producer, one of the best chef of uh, West Africa, Liberia claimed second place position. Because actually this is a, an empty wall, so we're still here, we're going to pull around uh, the Deputy Minister of Culture and Tourism office here. So the tour continues as we go to the other office. This is another tour site. So I see that uh, this place is actually empty. All of the decks are free, there's no desktop, there's no computer, nothing, and uh, you see too many things here. These are some documents that uh, was left here. So we took a glance at the bathroom quickly. Okay, we took a quick glance at the bathroom. This is the bathroom. And, uh, we are again going on the other side. So it's a huge tour today here at the Ministry of Information, Cultural Affairs and Tourism. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is uh, the Ministry of Cultural Affairs. So the tour continues here. This is So we continue the tour here. We have access to open the face of the So we have a water fund and I can say good morning to Levin. Good afternoon. Hello. Why are you watching? Good morning, Ms. Wiley. Good morning. 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 He told his brother to come for a private thing. He did not take anything from here. 
Not he took from here, he left everything that he bought by himself to the lobby. He said, he used the letterhead of the ministry, he asked the friend for support, so he was not pressing up. And he left it here. Here is the office of the Deputy Minister for Public Affairs. Here is the Executive Secretary told the Deputy Minister of Public Affairs. The computer they brought here, they gave me one. They want your spot. So I took my own from my office, I gave it to the Executive Secretary. We don't have a printer yet. Yeah. So being at war. The voting image at war, he was the, he was the only person that wanted for the ministry yet. You see it? Say you want it at war. He said, yeah. He said he planned to present to the new minister, Mr. Tamaledi. He been in the ministry for how many years? Almost 25 years. 25 years. He said he did not good rich. He said, uh, uh, huh? Gurish. Who are you saying? Uh, Reginald Reg 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 Uh huh. Who are the ministers again? Reginald Joe Monuba. Joe Monuba. Dr. Allen. Dr. Allen. Let's leave. Let's leave. Dr. Bokla also is serving. So, you're here for the company of the line. Stay guard, uh, stay have the former president Kalanda here, uh, President George M. Weir, Kalanda is still here under this administration. So we are now visiting to, to another site. This is the internal tour, this is the, the public affairs office. Yeah. This is the final session. The Ministry of Information for Jordan of Friends is the final section. These are all the documents everywhere. So, Office of the controller, uh, deputy controller. This is the office of the controller, uh, deputy controller as well. Deputy controller. So uh, this is the office of the controller. Here yeah, at the Ministry of Information, Culture, Affairs, and Tourism, it is an uh, it is an internal tour, both uh, internal and external tour. Uh, wherein we are still within the building of uh, the ministry, the inside of it, and uh, I'm told that right after here we will go outside. So, uh, follow me. So, at the our office, to make sure yesterday we took our pay. Yes, it's an deputy minister of the administration. So, yes, it's the staff of the deputy minister of administration. Come in, please. So, you're going to pay yesterday? Yeah, it's yes. It's 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 for, for, for which month? Uh, February. Oh, okay. February. It's still about what I paid yesterday. <laughs> yeah, it's the office of the deputy minister for administration. You won't come for two small, right? Yeah. I must say, leave my job. Yeah. 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 We see here. One hour. We are working for computers here, but one working. Same working for it. So when Minister Pia Lewaya, a deputy minister for public affairs, they 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 were here. Yeah. In our press conference, we will open a lab program in America, all around, and they ask questions. We answer it. Just imagine when Minister Pia Lewaya, a deputy for public affairs, and having minister. They will not stay here, but they are not working. Yeah, yeah. I 
services uh, in Daniel Sando. The assistant minister for administration. So the assistant minister for administration. Yeah, in the office of the assistant minister of administration. Huh? I don't see yourself in your own play, but I have to look there. You know. Three thousand five minutes. Yeah. So. Renovation. Yeah. 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 Renovation.
so that they can be functional in the town. Okay, so how long? How long has it been down? How long has it been down? Okay, we are in the newsroom of the Liberia News Agency. No? Uh, where you say, see the posture of a former President George Weah uh, being here. So we see here at the inside of uh, the Ministry of Information, Cultural Affairs and Tourism, and you can see inside. And but uh, as you stand, we see at the uh, internal portion of it, and uh, we'll end up with uh, the external that is outside. So we have a very dark area, as you may be aware. 
So we add into a bit of dark police. Way in. You pass, you can also. This is where at times, if uh, the president wants to address the nation, he don't want to do it at his house. The new function will be connected or not connected. You can see the difference here. These are all of the equipment. So we stay here. We stay here. Uh, the inside of the mansion. This place was set up by the ministry under the law. And it was a creative department to have work that being done at the moment, to have a stool for the future reference documented. And then we have the step photo that took pictures way back. So every week there is a super battle for step photo. The photo journalist, the professional person, the bachelor degree from Yemen Zion University, very qualified, he's been for a very long time. You know, for the six years. For the six years, he will come to us. So, she's a very professional photojournalist, uh, Sophia Kamoyes, uh, the ministry. So, it's a pleasure to be here to see everything that we have here being motivated. Everything that I've been here for this session and I come. Okay, so, so why is this not your work for the world? Because this is a virtual photograph. Yeah, yeah. We went the lack of logistics. But then you saw me right here because I, I have to do something because it has to do with us. So I have some work here trying to display the minister. I may have my home, my home. The minister wants something that will portray so design. When you enter the Ministry of Information, Cultural and Tourism, to show the Air Force showcase here that I did on my own. That my private son here. See this? You see that? Okay. See this? This one had to do with communication line within the cultural setting. Yeah, you have the the the, the, the home, the salsa, the, and that tuma where you get you get almost a musical instrument. Then you also have this two almost seen as that too. Okay, that yeah, cultural instrument. Because the cultural so I try to modify it and then show it to the minister if that be brought by him, we can do it on actual stage stage. You know, so at least it will show at least the ministry has people who are talented in the era of work. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Okay.